My brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel, we actually hear the verses that immediately precede what we heard in yesterday's Sunday gospel. So the fourth Sunday of Easter this year, we heard from the, from the middle part, if you will, of John chapter 10, the Good Shepherd discourse. And so today we hear the first verses that immediately precede it. Well, yesterday, the Sunday gospel focused more on the element of what follows when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Today, we not only get the beginning of this discourse, which we're told the, that the hearers didn't understand, but then Jesus starts by saying, I am the gate. So focusing, since yesterday, the theme was so much on the good shepherd himself, it's worthwhile to, to look at the image of Jesus as the gate itself. He creates the image of the sheepfold, any kind of pen, whether with fences, whatever structures to keep the, the sheep inside. And so he compares the, the shepherd to the thieves or robbers. The shepherd is the one who would enter through the, the gate, through, if you will, through the proper door, the front door, whereas a thief or robber will try to sneak in, climb over a wall, whatever it may be. And so when Jesus, in contrast, it talks about the shepherd comes through the gate and the gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The gatekeeper, presumably in this image, is the father himself. But when Jesus compares himself to the gate, so he is both the good shepherd and the gate. As the gate, this is an important image for us to under, understand salvation in Christ, which is that when we try, whether we're trying to be the shepherd, a thief, a robber, or as a sheep itself, the necessity of passing through the gate. For, uh, of course, anyone who doesn't enter through the gate, so one who approaches but not in Jesus or through Jesus, is not to be trusted. This would be the, the voice of the world that is seeking to exploit the sheep, not with concern for the sheep. So the one who is not uh, aligned with Christ coming to me can't have my best interests and in heart. But on the flip side, as a sheep, I need to not try to get out of the sheepfold by any way other than through that gate, because only the shepherd will lead me in and out of the gate. This is an important image for life in the church. The sheepfold is an image itself of the church, of the Father's house. And so if we are his flock, if we are the sheep, we are safe within the sheepfold, and the shepherds that Jesus entrusts are the only ones to lead us in and out of the sheepfold. This speaks to the image of those that God appoints as shepherds, and this gets back to the good shepherd imagery, but to those with the legitimate authority given by God to lead us, to not exploit the sheep, not do us harm, but to lay down their lives for the sheep. This, of course, has a very important connotations for, for priestly and Episcopal ministry, but focusing again on the gate image, I should not seek to follow any way. If I try to leave the sheepfold, if I look and try to climb over, the, you know, jump over the wall or climb through a hole, I'm suddenly putting myself in harm's way. But if I only trust the one who comes through the gate, and if I only go through that gate, in that sense, if I only move about in Jesus himself, through Jesus, Think of those words at the end of the Eucharistic prayer every time. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your, power is yours forever and ever. And so, through him, with him, in him. This is that, that threefold declaration of our importance of being in Christ. Both ourselves, no other way but through Jesus, not the world's way, but also not to listen to the one that would try to approach me in any way other than through him and with him and in him. It is in our communion, within the sheepfold and passing through the gate, we are safe, we are in the care of God. But if we entrust ourselves or seek to stray of our own means outside that sheepfold, following any other voice, then we are in danger. And so, my brothers and sisters, may we listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd, recognize his voice. As Jesus has said, if mine know me, if mine know my voice, I won't follow another voice. That means we need to pray well enough to know the voice of the Shepherd, 
from the false voices, the robbers of the world, that may we listen to his voice and follow him and make sure that we always pass through the gate. May God bless you all. Mm -hmm.